Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and we're going to tune on the Sanjian ATS 909X2 from 4000 to 5000 kilohertz. And of course, comment on what we hear on the band. So, this is a band that has multiple little things um, a maritime band in the bottom part, sometimes pirates on the first 100 kilohertz are often heard. Uh, there's also, um, you know, digital modes of all sorts, weather facts, um, all sorts of things in here. There's, of course, the 60 meter tropical band with uh, international, with, with broadcast. It's not international. Tropical bands means local broadcast. Of course, they are heard around the world anyways, but uh, this is all what we have here. So the first uh, 600 kilohertz roughly are going to be in single sideband because mostly utilities uh, and we'll probably switch uh, at uh, some point to the uh, um, AM mode for the international for the, the 60 meter uh, tropical band. So let's go first of all into upper sideband and start tuning at 0150 UTC the 4000 to 5000 kilohertz range at um, on the St. Jean ATS 909 X2 on MLA 30 loop outdoors. First signal we encounter this one, which is the US Navy RTTY Stanag signal. So this is uh, coming from the East Coast and it's uh, here it's audible pretty much 24 hours a day uh, in Montreal. But um, if you hear this signal, it's the US Navy. Two things you might hear on this frequency range is uh, pirates on the bottom 100, 150 kilohertz. You might hear also Mars nets that are frequent on the frequency range here. This is Tanag. It's interesting because usually we hear uh, we hear the Boston weather facts transmissions. It's interesting to hear Stanag here. More Stanag. Now we're continuing. Four four two six is uh, frequency of uh, marine weather stations across the United States. 431.6 also. So depending on the time you're going to tune, you might be hearing some weather broadcasts, marine weather broadcasts from uh, Chesapeake, Virginia and Point Reyes in California. And here's the uh, chirp chirp of Kodar. That is heard across many frequency ranges. Um, Kodar is a uh, type of ocean radar, if you want. It uh, lets these uh, radar signals hit ocean waves and be able to scatter in directions that let them know about uh, the traveling of the ocean current 
a height of waves and so on. So there's a lot of uh, information from these transmissions, these Kodar weather transmissions. Kodar. Depending on the time of day, and I've heard it quite often, around 46.10 is the uh, Norwoods uh, radio weather fax station, the uh, Northwood weather fax from uh, the UK. Uh, which is broadcasting here with uh, weather broadcast uh, images and maps. 4625, the famous Russian buzzers here. Nothing tonight here, but famous Russian buzzer. Stanag. This is uh, U.S. Air Force, apparently, possibly. Uh, 4724, it's one of the famous frequencies for U.S. Global Command, also. And here we start the 60-meter band, which puts ourselves in AM mode. 4765, which is pretty much always here, the uh, station Radio Progreso from Cuba. Here we go. Are your hands raised? 4790 is the new frequency of uh, WBCQ. Every person. And at night they have the Radio Angela service. You are God and believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. WWCR 4840. Worldwide Christian Radio, WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. 4885, very weak right now, but uh, this is a Brazilian station. Radio Club do Para, which is usually the one we hear. Depending on the time you're going to tune, you can hear stations, a few stations from Africa still there. You can hear Voice of America also broadcasting. 2940 is that Cuban station, very weak here. Forty nine eighty is a lot of people unfortunately uh, think it's something exotic. Uh, because there's, uh, on 4980, some uh, people have the impression that it could be some kind of exotic South American. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's WRMI that has this frequency. <laughs> 4996 could sometimes be the uh, RWM time station in... Uh, Moscow, Russia, not being heard, maybe not now, not sure. There is a tone. I don't remember if the tone is what we hear at this time. She's going to go to 7 and go to lower sideband, see if I hear the tone. And I'm hearing a tone, so that tone is maybe RWM time signal. Very weak tone. And of course, when we go now to uh, 5,000 kilohertz WWV time signal. And so this was the 4,000 to 5,000 kilohertz tuning 
of the shortwave bands with comments with what signals we're encountering using the same G and ATS909X2. Hope you're enjoying this video and these videos of tuning around with different radios. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.